Hi, I'm Rashmi, and today I'd like to read you my picture book, Dadaji's Paintbrush, which is beautifully illustrated by Ruchi Masani. Dadaji's Paintbrush. Once, in a tiny village in India, there was a boy who loved to paint. He lived with his grandfather in an old house full of paintings. First, the boy painted with his fingers. He printed with marigolds, beetle leaves and coconut shells. As he got bigger, he painted with brushes made of sticks with strips of cloth, reeds or jasmine flowers wrapped around the ends. The village children would peep through the windows to watch them paint. Sometimes the boy's grandfather would invite them to join in. The boy and his grandfather did everything together. They grew bananas, pineapples and jackfruit and sold them in the local market, shared sticky, juicy mangoes with the village children and made paper boats for them to float down the street in the monsoon rain. They read books and picked out what they'd paint the next day. When the rains had gone, every night they lay on their rooftop beds and watched the stars until they fell asleep. They didn't have much, but they had each other. Don't ever leave me, the boy would say. I won't, his grandfather would reply, holding the boy so tight that his bones would hurt. But one day, he did. All that was left of him was the old house full of paintings. The boy stood at his grandfather's desk. He noticed a little box wrapped in string with a note that read, From Dadaji, with love. Inside was his grandfather's best paintbrush. At first, the boy didn't touch it. He couldn't. He wouldn't. When he tried to look at it, his chest ached. Then, one day, he put it up on a shelf so high he had to get up on his toes to reach it. Days and months passed by. Seasons changed. The boy forgot all about the box. At least, he tried to. Mangoes didn't taste the same anymore. At night, the stars didn't sparkle the way they used to. And when the rains arrived again, there was no one to make paper boats with. The village children didn't visit anymore. The house felt empty, like the hole in the boy's heart where his grandfather used to be, where all the colours used to be. The boy took all the paintings and locked them away. In time, the paints dried up and the box and the paintings gathered dust. Then, one day, a small girl turned up at the boy's door. She held a stick with reeds wrapped around the end. Please teach me how to paint, she said, like your dadaji taught my mummy. The boy shook his head, but the girl wouldn't leave. Oh, please, she said. So he mixed up some paints and found her a fresh sheet of paper. The girl plunged her brush into the paints and dotted the page with bright blue and green splodges. Then she stopped and frowned. It's no good, she said. This was a bad idea. I can't do it. She was about to give up when the boy said, wait. There was always a way. He looked closely at the page. Then he remembered. Then he smiled. The boy unlocked the door at the back of the house and showed the girl his grandfather's paintings. If they looked closely, in the background of every painting, they could see little splodges of paint, sometimes made with fingers, sometimes with brushes made of sticks, reeds and flowers. Together, the boy and his grandfather had turned every one of them into something wonderful. All it took was time and attention. And so the boy reached for the box, took out his grandfather's paintbrush and started to paint. The girl watched and copied. They painted together every day and as time passed by, the house was filled with colour again. The boy has been painting ever since. 
Sometimes the village children peep through the window to watch. Sometimes they paint, they laugh, and the boy makes paper boats for them to float away down the street in the monsoon rain. He knows in his heart that his grandfather will always be with him. The end.